A flawless image of an Einstein ring has been captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The breathtaking halo is caused by light from a distant galaxy flowing through twisted space-time and encircling around another galaxy that is lined up between the distant light source and Earth. One of the finest representations of the hallucinogenic astronomical phenomena ever photographed, the new image was produced by a Reddit-based astronomy fan. To know more about this Einstein ring, stay tuned to our channel, Theory of Science. And for more perfect content like this perfect Einstein ring, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to get notified whenever new perfect content is posted. More photos taken by the James Webb Space Telescope are now available, and this one shows an absolutely flawless Einstein ring. The image, which was shared on Reddit by an astronomy enthusiast, was captured by Webb's mid-infrared instrument and showed the galaxy J0418, officially known as SPTS, J0418 39-4751.8. Which is located around 12 billion light years from Earth. NASA claims that an Einstein ring develops when light from one galaxy passes through the twisted space time around another galaxy that is positioned between the distant light source and the viewer, in this case, the Webb telescope. Simply stated, the blue light is coming from the galaxy in front, and the ring around it is the light coming from the galaxy in back because of the warped space. Earlier photographs of multiple Einstein rings were taken by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, but the one revealed by James Webb is significant since its telescope was provided the most detailed image because of its powerful lenses. The MIRI, Mid-Infrared Instrument, on board the James Webb Space Telescope was used to take the picture. The Reddit user obtained the Webb Telescope data and used software suites, including Astropy, to process and colorize it. GIMP, a free Photoshop substitute, was used for additional editing. This odd outcome is similar to how light is bent by glass lenses. Similar to magnifying glasses, this effect creates the illusion that distance galaxies are so much more near than they actually are. The lens is constructed, instead of glass, from space-time that has been gravitationally deformed. As a result, gravitational lensing is the name that researchers have given to this particular occurrence. The first gravitational lensing forecast was made by Albert Einstein in 1912, while he was researching his theory of relativity. According to Francesco Rizzo of the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics and colleagues, this galaxy is so far away that people were able to observe it when the universe was only 10% as old as it is now. This is because it took 12 billion years for its light to reach the Earth. She claimed that we are going back in time when these new galaxies were just coming into being. According to SpaceGuy44 on Reddit, an Einstein ring forms when a large galaxy passes in front of a far-off galaxy, magnifying it and wrapping it into a nearly perfect ring. According to SpaceGuy44, without the Einstein ring, our ability to study this galaxy would be completely lost. Furthermore, these galaxies can be studied because Einstein's rings exist. Otherwise, it would be practically difficult to view them. The effect only manifests when the observer, the magnified galaxy, and the distant galaxy align. According to SpaceGuy44, the stem and base of a wine glass have a similar effect if you want to test it out yourself. Try doing it on a page from a book to see the word magnified. And also, before trying on these experiments, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can try more experiments like these. The same region was captured by the Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, NearCam, in August, and SpaceGuy44 digitally enhanced and released it at that same time. Researchers discovered the distance galaxy in 2020 after seeing partial gravitational lensing using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, or ALMA, in Chile. They made the announcement in a publication published that year in the journal Nature. An Einstein ring is a more uncommon gravitational lensing phenomenon in which the background galaxy's twisted image forms an almost perfect ring. However, the electromagnetic waves we observe have actually been moving in a straight line the entire time. From Earth, it appears as though the light has been curled around the galaxy. Given that they require the background in distant galaxies to be exactly aligned with the viewer, fully circular Einstein rings are quite uncommon. However, future detection efforts should be aided by Webb's more sophisticated sensors. Only two galaxies and one distant quasar make up the formation, which is enlarged as it passes through the galaxy's gravitational fields. The 2M1310-1714 quasar is located farther from Earth than the two galaxies. A quasar is the extraordinarily bright core of an active galaxy, and the energy released by gas as it falls into the supermassive black hole at its center is what gives it its tremendous glow. In a statement, the European Space Agency announced the news. 
The light from the quasar has been bent around the galaxy pair due to their tremendous mass. One of the most effective observational tools ever developed by humanity is still James Webb. It enables us to observe the early universe and detect carbon dioxide on distant planets. The next phase of space research has a chance to solve some of the biggest mysteries in the cosmos with the aid of equipment like this. With the assistance of the European Space Agency, the James Webb Telescope has a greater field of view than any other telescope. This enables it to observe the light that has traveled billions of years to reach our planet, thereby allowing it to look back in time. These observations, in the opinion of scientists, will deepen our knowledge of the early cosmos. Check out our channel for more interesting videos.